Both teams have set their special teams onto the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Huskies and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Green nine, green nine. Orange three, orange. Check, check. Dancer, dancer. Go. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's good for a That'll be number 32. Brought down around the 46-yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. And down he goes at about the 41. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. First and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Red two, green nine. Green nine. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. He's got it with room to run. Any offense is predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. That'll bring up third and eight. So we're looking at another third down here. Hit and still completed it. He's taken down at the 32. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Quick out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 24-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Makes it first and 10. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. He gets rid of this one. This is the 11th play of this drive. They come out on an empty backfield. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Go. Go. And he throws it away. From the six yard line, it's second down. Slings it out and it gets tipped. Well-designed route to tip your cap to the safety for making a real heads-up play with the deflection. This is the 14th play of this drive. Check, check back 11, check back 11. Hit. Left, 
Back five, back five. Ooh, 20. Here's a handoff, and he saves a touchdown. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Connecticut could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And they can forget about returning this one. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Gains his way to the 36 yard line. needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He did not get to the first down marker. Gain of one on the play. Fourth down. Certainly they don't have the return on here. And he's tackled at the 20. You know what? It might not have been a lot, but they moved the ball forward. Football's not a game won 100 yards at a time. You take what you can get. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Connecticut is up a field goal. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on their own 18. And he can't get away from the pressure. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle made right around the 18 yard line. And that'll do it. Very good first quarter of action. The Huskies with a three point lead. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball, on the quick, on the quick, on the ball, on the ball, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And this one is a beauty. Not great, but not bad either. As long as your main priorities are not turning the ball over and establishing solid field position, then you're headed in the right direction. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He fights forward to about the 43. The running back gets two on the carry. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Steps out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Fires quickly with the tight end. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of two yards. yards. That, that brings, brings up fourth and three. three. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Booming kick. This 
one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Connecticut is up by three. Catches it and he's looking for more. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Sends it out quick, intercepted. He's at the 40. Tackles right around the 38-yard line. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Connecticut has a three-point lead. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 33-yard line. Number 97 makes, makes the tackle at the 33-yard line. line. That brings him second and five. Yeah. It's a fumble. It's scooped up. And so the defense comes up with a fumble. Is that turnover going to hurt them? Well, every turnover hurts, but hopefully for their sake, this running back will go out there next time and hold on to the football a little bit better. Quarterback couldn't maintain possession on their last drive. Let's see what he does here. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Quick throw, and they make the stop at about the 45. He has some room. Nice run to the outside. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it second and six. He's tackled around the 29-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 26. on the play. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. And the booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down.
After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. They're crowding the line. Ready! Check, check! Eagle! Eagle! Hot! Slings it inside the 10. It's on a move. Touchdown. So the fullback gets involved in the passing game with a touchdown catch. And I had a chance to talk to this guy before the game. He said he's been working a lot on one-on-one -on -one drills with the wide receivers to try to improve his hands. And guess what? There isn't a better payoff than making a catch like that and finding the end zone. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. And he adds the extra point. A six-play, 67-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. There's a strike complete. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That, that makes it first, first in time. From their own 35-yard line. It's first down. Dog four. Go. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. The Huskies will use their first time out of the half. Gets it out to the wide out, and he's got the first. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black. He's going to go for the home run. And he's got it. Touchdown. to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He makes the PAT. A four-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Well, Brad, right now, this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. He just drills this one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. He wants it all. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. Number 25, the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and 10. Hey, check by 33, check by 33. Here we go. He's on the run. Brought down at the 33. The defense might have gotten a little bit lax there, but they were still able to prevent the first. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Boy, this has been a fun game to watch, going back and forth and back and forth. It's almost like watching a tennis match here. Whoever has the ball last, my guess, will be the team that wins it. 
Not much of a problem getting the ball in the end zone on their last drive as this quarterback just picked apart the defense. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. First down. Connecticut holds a field goal lead. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes the grab and he's got the first. And he's level at the 41. First down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 22. We've played a half. UConn leads it 10-7. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. People say college football is evolving. It's completely an offensive game. Boy, not this one. This one has that old school, hard-nosed, tough feel to it. Yeah, and it's it's good. It's kind of it's kind of refreshing. I know the younger guys, you like all the points all the time, but it, it's fun to watch these kind of games because you see two defenses flying around. It looks like there's 12 or 13 guys on that side of the football making big plays, making big hits, holding the offenses down in a world where we have all the fast-paced, up-tempo, scoring points galore. It's good to see some defenses bow their necks and play some good, pretty good ball. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone. Watch back. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Scrambling around. And down he goes. Right around the third. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. Third down. Check, check. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. First down grab by the receiver. That's good enough for another Syracuse. First down. That brings him second and five. scrambling runs with it and he's got room he's taken down around the 25 yard line the defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now they might need to change up some of their schemes from the 25 yard line first down gets it out to his receiver and he can't hang on that was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. This is the eighth play of this drive. And a six yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. Just 
throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. There was some movement on the line. Syracuse is down three and looking to tie it up. Offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drive. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. And a 10-10 tie in this game. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Tackle made at the 25. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Hey, kill, kill, kill! He's under pressure. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated here. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. He gets sacked on the play. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And this one is a beauty. And down he goes at the 50. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Nice run, and he's brought down. Steps up. He gets rid of this one. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Hey, check flag 33. Check flag 33. Set flight 80. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a gain of four. That makes it four down, four down. Mark check 33. 33. Set. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield, and they'll take over on down. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Complete. It's the junior. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. What was that? It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Dead two! And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of four, of four yards. yards. First, First down. down. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four Dog, down. Four. Check, 49, check. 49, 49. Damn. Here's an opening. Runs outside for a nice game. Game seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three.
They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He's got an opening. Makes it out to about the 26. That makes it first and 10. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Hey, check, check Mike. 11, check Mike. Hey, two. Motion, motion, motion. Ooh, 20. Motion, motion, motion. Bump hey, kill, alley. kill, kill. Go. He flings it. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Work the right side, and there is nothing going there. No game. That makes it second and ten. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. First and 10, ball on their own 40. And a quick throw. He's tackled at about the 47 yard line. the junior. And he tackles him hard at the 34 yard line. So with one quarter remaining, the Huskies lead 17 10. First down. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. They'll knock him down for a loss. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 37. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. They go to the screen here, and the halfback's got it. Tackle the 26-yard line. Ready, check, wide, 80. Eagle. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. Nice run to the outside. He's knocked out of bounds at the 16 yard line. Loss of three on the play. That makes it third and six. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Check, 33, 33. Red, Red 18, Red. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Ready, 
He's on the run, and they got it. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. A conversion there could have really helped them, but it just wasn't to be. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Connecticut is up by a touchdown. Here's the throw to the fullback, and he's taken down at the 21-yard line. Number eight makes the set goal at the 21-yard line. That brings him second and five. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. The halfback with a carry. Nice run to the left there. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Hey, check, check back 11, check back 11. Green nine. Easy, easy. Blue, 20. Slings it, and they make the stop at the 35. Number eight on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Check, check back 11, check back 11. Let's go, defense! Dog four! Blue, 20! Motion, 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 I got one! Three, three, three! That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The 35 yard line. Nowhere to go on that play action pass completion. Syracuse is going to take their first time out of the half. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He gets it away. This is a really nice punt. From the 15. Tackle at the 30 yard line. Time's becoming a factor now as the offense takes over after the punt. Got to have their sights on the end zone right now. There's not enough time to be sure that they can get the ball back. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Fires incomplete. From their own 30-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Lock down around the 35-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number two was the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and five. They bring him down right around the 42 yard line. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. A little over a minute in the game. Five wide. And he's got the 
Jr. And he hits him hard at the 11. Receiver and he's got it again. And he is drilled at the three. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Syracuse will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Here we go. Green 19. And down he goes at the one. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown.
Penalty. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. The play clock's at double zero. They just took too long. We have less than a minute to go. And he converts the extra point. Just under a minute left in the fourth quarter, and this game hasn't failed to disappoint. The score is tied up at 17. They line up to kick this one away. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. you got to hurry here, but you don't want to rush things and make a critical mistake. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. And he's taken down at the 34. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. That brings up second and one. Head to X. Easy, easy. Blue 20. Go. and he's got his man to the 20. We're going to overtime. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And we're back ready now for overtime. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Loss of one on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 26 yard line. Hey, check mark 33. Check mark 33. Ready! 180! 180! And he's level at the 29. That is a loss of three yards. Third down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mark check, 33. 33. He gets sacked on the play. Fourth down. The kicker will line up and try to get the first points in this overtime. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he splits the uprights. Sack on the play. From the 36 yard line, it's second down. They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. He's taken down at the 38 yard line. linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. It's fourth down, but forget about tying this game up. They're going for the win. 
There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Quick pass going back to his running back. Tackle at about the 27-yard line. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, Syracuse 20, Connecticut 17. As we finish up the broadcast, what do you have to say about how this game turned out, Kurt? Well, I didn't think this game would be that close in the fourth quarter, let alone go into overtime. Connecticut did not disappoint us in this football game. Their kids should be proud of the way they hung in there and forced this game into overtime. I'm sure they're disappointed with the outcome, but hey, guys, hold your heads up high because you played a great game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.